Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do the introduction to sets. In this topic, or this topic is the first concept na under ng grade 7 mathematics. So, our target today is to define the word set, the word element, and then we need to identify whether the given condition is an example of set. So let's get started. We have here the definition of sets. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects. These objects are called elements. So we have here two words na dapat natin tandaan. Sabi dito, yung set daw is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects. So yun yung dalawang characteristic na kailangan natin makita for us to say, ah, that thing or those things are examples or a set. And then, sabi rito, yung objects daw na nasa loob ng sets are called the elements. Okay? So, for you to have a deeper understanding about sets, meron tayo binigay rito tatlong examples of sets. So, let's start with item number one. Sabi rito, set of colors in the rainbow. So, alam naman natin, meron tayong patatandaan na meron tayong sinasabing Roy G. Beave. So, ano nga ba yung set ng colors sa rainbow? So, we have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Bakit siya example ng isang set? Kasi, siya ay isang well-defined type of set. Wala namang ibang colors ang rainbow. And we can easily say or identify and illustrate and enumerate the different colors in a rainbow. Kasi matagal na siya nakastablish. At yung objects na nasa loob ng rainbow natin or color ng rainbows natin ay alam na alam na natin. At itong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 na to, ito yung tinatawag nating elements. Ibig sabihin, ang elements ng set of colors in the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay, so let's move on to the other example. Sabi dito, set of even numbers from 2 to 30. So, uh, do you think the second set is an example of a set? Yes, example siya ng set. Bakit? Well-defined and distinct kung kanyang objects. Ano ba yung mga elements? Para masabi natin yung set na to ay distinct and well-defined. So the elements of this set are two, sabi diba? Numbers, even numbers from 2 to 30. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. These are the elements of the set of even numbers from 2 to 30. Again, the second example is well-defined and the objects are distinct. Next, let's move on to item number 3. Set of the months in a year. So, isipin natin, ito ba ay well-defined? At yung mga objects sa bahay, kaya natin, kaya natin enumerate? Yes. Definitely, example number three is an example of set. So, what are the months in a year? So, we have the January, February, we have March, next one is April, we have May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and lastly, December. 
yung set natin na ito ay merong 12 elements. Again, alam natin na ang isang year ay meron lang 12 months. Therefore, distinct and well-defined ang ating example number 3. Again, yung number 1 natin and number 2, number 3 are examples of sets. So ngayon, I will show you an example, example non-examples of sets para mas lalo natin makuha yung concepto ng sets. I have here non-examples of sets. We have here the first example, non-example of sets, set of precedents. So, bakit nga ba hindi siya well-defined and distinct? Una sa lahat, Hindi siya well-defined. Bakit? There are different sets of precedents. It depends on the country. Okay? So, maybe if the Americans read this first statement, set of precedents, they will think that I am president natin to. But in our context, since we are Filipinos, pag sinabi natin, set of precedents, our set of precedents different from the set of precedents from the United States of America. Okay? So, therefore, number one is non-example non of sets. Let's go with number two. Set of beautiful artists. Okay? This one is also included in the non-examples. Why? If I'm gonna write a set of beautiful artists, maybe in your perspective, the set of beautiful artists for you are different from mine. Therefore, item number two is non-example offset. Okay? We have here an error. So let's have number three. Set of the alphabets. Bakit kaya yung number 3 ay hindi example ng set? Simple reason. There are different set of alphabets. Meron tayong Greek, meron tayong Filipino, meron tayong English alphabets. So, this one is not well defined. Kasi dapat, kung gagawin natin set of the English alphabets, kapag nangyari yun, kapag set of English Alpha bits. Pwedeng pwede to na maging well-defined set. Again, these three examples are non-examples of sets. I hope na nakuha niyo yung konsepto ng sets na meron tayo para mas tuloy-tuloy yung ating discussion sa video na to. Okay? Kung natuwa ka or nakatulong sa inyo yung video na to, just like and put a comment sa put some comment sa ating comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Again, I hope na nakatulong sa iyo yung konsepto ng video natin ngayon. Naturuan ka kung paano yung definition ng set, how to identify whether the given statement or the given group is an example of set at nalaman mo rin elements of a set. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Salamat!